first player prop I'm looking at tonight is Damian Lillard. We're looking at his points. They're playing Boston. The game is in Boston. Dame's line is 33 and a half, which is very high. See a projection here of 43.48. I don't think this game's about Damian at all. I think it's about Boston. They've been giving up a lot of points to the guards of opposing teams. Um, they just been getting killed. I mean, there's really no other way around. And Donovan Mitchell hit him for 40, as you can see here. And we just look at the guards. Mitchell for 40. He's their top guard. Barrett had 29 on him. Quigley had 38 on him. Mitchell had 44 on him back on, on the first. So they've just been giving up a lot of points to the opposing backcourt. And if anybody can drop 40 on them, it's gonna be Dane. Watch it closely, looks like everybody's playing, but that's a definitely a play that I'm looking at tonight is Damian Lillard and his points. Second player we're looking at is gonna be from assist. We're gonna look at Russell, Russell Westbrook. His prop on prize picks is seven. He has a projection of 8.87 assist uh, for tonight. Let's look a little bit closer at this. As you can see over here, Toronto is one of the worst in the league giving up assist against the point guard and just total assist allowed. Uh, Russ has went over two and a half, uh, went over seven. Let's push this number up to seven. He's went over it six out of his last 10 games against Toronto. And this is when he was with the Lakers. He only had four assists. Let's look at his last 30. Of his last 30, 17 out of 30, 57%. And let's look at what Toronto is doing here. They gave up five assists to Aaron Gordon, four assists to Pope, five assists to Jackson. This is just in the last game. So it's another prop to look at. Um, Toronto's not very good when it comes up, come to uh, defense first the assist. Next player I'm looking at is going to be Nikola Jokic from Denver. They're playing Chicago. As you can see, he's on a two game streak of going over 12 and a half uh, rebounds. Let's look at this a little closer. Minus 120 to go over. He smashed his mark seven out of his last 10 games against Chicago. He had six at Chicago. Chicago's decent against the uh, center position. Uh, they're decent when it comes to rebounds allowed. They're kind of middle of the road rebounds allowed. They're 14th in the league. Offensive rebounds allowed. They're one of the better teams in the league. Um, and against center defense. They're ranked fourth for a center defense. So not bad stats. Uh, Jokic just went over this uh, seven out of 10 times in his last games. Let's look at 30. 30 games, he's only 43%, 13 out of 30 in his last 30. Let's look at the season. Season, he's 39%, 22 out of 57. So you can see in his last 10, that he's really picked up the uh, the rebounds. Uh, seven out of his last 10, he's went over 12 and a half. So does this trend con continue? Looks like Denver's favorite by nine. And the last player I'm looking at tonight is gonna be Evan Mobley. Points, rebounds, and assist. 26 and a half is his prop. We see a projection here of 33.49. Let's look a little bit closer at this. He's went over this prop six out of 10 in his last 10 games. Let's look at his last 30. His last 30, 19 out of 30, 63%. Don't think it's really 
we need to go back past 30 games on this, but just for giggles here, we look at the season, still 55%, 36 out of 60, 65 games. He's went over 26 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. First, Miami. Both games against Miami, he's went over 26 and a half, 30 and 30 in both respective uh, games. So Miami's great defensively uh, against the center position. They rank fifth, points allowed. They rank uh, second best, rebounds are allowed. They rank eighth best against the center position. But it seems like Mobley, Mobley has the number. Definitely something to look at. Mobley is also playing at a very high level right now, kind of coming into his uh, own as a superstar, someone who's going to keep contributing, I think. So those are a few plays I like. Go ahead and like, subscribe. Both those things would be greatly appreciated. You can get all my picks, my premium picks over on Patreon. Until the next video, peace.